Hi there, Addy here with a great new property we have listed. It's located in Little Portugal. It's a triplex. It's a legal duplex with a basement apartment. It has separate entrances for our firm. It's fully renovated from top to bottom and it's generating good returns. I uh, just wanted to run it over the run over the property numbers with you. So uh, it's as I said, Little Portugal, Beaconsfield and Queen and Dundas. So it's located uh, between Dundas and Queen. Uh, asking price is 1.798, so almost 1.8 million. Price per unit is 600,000. Uh, at 20% down, you would be required cash ca uh, down payment would be $359,780. Your first mortgage at 1.439 at 2.332 uh, rate is 55.44. Uh, let's take a look at the income first. So the property is generating uh, for the one bedroom plus den on the main floor is generating 2850. For the one bedroom plus den on the second floor is generating generating 2850 again. Uh, the basement, one bedroom basement apartment that can be converted to a two bedroom is generating $1,300 $1, a month. Uh, the garage is rented for $150 a month as well, so that's generating $1,800 a year. Total monthly income is $7,150. Uh, annual income is $85,800. Average per unit is $2,383. Uh, uh, looking at the taxes, uh, $48.36 for taxes, insurance is $24.96, gas per year is $13.49, water $945, hydro is at $19.36. Mind you, there's uh, hydro included for the main floor unit over here. They're paying their own hydro, so that should be a lot less. The only thing you should have over here is probably around $600, which would be for the basement because their rent includes uh, their hydro. So gas is paid for by the landlord uh, in this instance. Uh, there is internet uh, included in here, which is eleven twenty-seven per year, and the tank rental, which is the hot water tank, is two hundred ninety-four dollars. Total expenses for the year twelve thousand nine hundred eighty-five dollars. Subtract that after your vacancy allowance. Uh, your net operating income for this property is seventy-one thousand nine hundred and fifty-six dollars. Mortgage payment sixty-six thousand five hundred twenty-eight. So cash flow of the property will generate is $5,428. Now, if you are to purchase this property because it's located in downtown Toronto, you would have to pay a Toronto land transfer tax, which is $31,703. $32,453 would be the land transfer tax uh, that is uh, provincial. Lawyer fees around $3,500. And if you have a building inspection done, that's another $300, $400 on top of it. Your expensive uh, income ratio is at 15%, which is very healthy for a property this type. Uh, cap rate is at four percent, one point five one percent cash on cash return. Sorry, cash return on first year, and your ROI is at ten percent. So total cash requirement for this purchase is four hundred twenty-seven thousand four hundred thirty-six dollars, and you would have a really solid investment in downtown Toronto. The property is detached; it has a double car garage in the back. It's two and a half stories. Uh, beautifully renovated from top to bottom. If you want more information, give me a shout, 877-439-2339, or you can reach me, Addy, at heyaddy.com. Take care, and we will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.